Whew, what's happening, fam? LL movement still moving. This is the ADD, the ADHD hustle. Now, um, y'all probably can't tell this, but you know, when I was a kid, I was diagnosed with the same thing. But my grandmother didn't allow my mother to give me medication. My grandmother thought it was some bullshit. And I appreciated that. Because to this day, I can't really stand still. Uh, I think about a lot of things. Uh, uh, and even in my conversation sometimes, you know, I have to be cognizant even when I'm talking on here that I don't um, get to the end of the sentence when I'm first starting the sentence. Because in my in my day-to-day -day life, I might answer your question while you're in the middle of it because I realize what the, the whole question is and it throws people off because my mind is just gone. The same thing with the way I move. But I'm saying that to say this. People use that as a hustle. It's a it's a social it's a SSI benefits hustle. It's a, a, a excuse to to not parent hustle. It's it's just a flat out hustle. Having ADHD means you got a lot of energy. It means you think a lot. It means you move a lot. It means you have a lot of nervous, busy energy not necessarily nervous and, and busy all just you just have a lot of energy like you want to keep doing stuff but when you prescribe this stuff to kids one you make a kid feel like they need something to be normal which have been which me being hyper and is normal to me I mean I'm fine with it I'm cool uh, I like it actually um which causes a problem in the long run because now kids are like, okay, I need this to be normal. Then you got kids doing what when they get older? Drinking, smoking cigarettes all the time, weed, other kind of drugs because they have a long history of thinking they need something to be normal or to get them in the mood or to get them prepared to do something. Second thing is a hustle because you got these kids on medication on school days. See, if I have a real problem, if I have like a a a a medical issue, and they tell me I'm on medication, I'm on medication that on their schedule, their set schedule, all the time. I'm not on on medication when I'm at work, and then on my day off, on my days off, I'm I don't need it. No. I'm not, like, these kids are on medication from 8 to 3, Monday through Friday. But if school's not in session, that means 8 to 3, Monday through whatever, then the day off, then back to it, then they're off the weekend. You're not, you, don't, you don't take an off day or weekend off or a spring break off, a Christmas break off, a summer off. Columbus Day off of medication if you really need a medication. Like, you know, it's a lot of kids with eczema. They go to school. They don't say, uh, uh, you know what? It's spring break. I don't need this no more. I gotta wait till Monday. They don't do that. You know, they don't. So, I mean, for the most part, it's bull. The other thing, why would you want to put something to throw off a person's body chemistry like that at such a young age? When you're, If your brain don't fully develop until you're 25, what does that say about your liver? Because when you 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and you've been on... Britlin, Adderall and shit. Um another thing. A lot of y'all think y'all slick. Because what happens is a lot of y'all teach y'all kids bad shit on purpose before they school age. And then see, okay, watch. 
kid don't know how to read. But a young, but a five year old go, pop the Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! Okay, so read green eggs and ham. Um, um, I don't know. Uh, um, what is that? What word is it? Sam, damn it, Sam. But when they get to school, what do these, these kids are knowing? the wrong kind of music or watching the wrong kind of movies or learning the wrong kind of language so when they get in public they act the wrong kind of way and then you say I don't know what's wrong with them you a damn liar you know exactly what's wrong with them uh... so they do that and then they act up in school and then they say they must be uh... attention deficit disorder or, or they must be oppositional defined disorder. You can't be oppositional defined that early of an age if people... That means somebody taught you to be standoffish from birth. If you in kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and all you could do is tell people to fuck off. That means somebody been teaching you to tell people to fuck off for the first four, five, six years of your life. Same thing with, with ADHD. It, it, Somebody would have been teaching you, it's okay, stay up all night, play around, don't sit down and learn anything, say what you want, do what you want, don't, dis don't sit down when I tell you to sit down, don't listen to me when I tell you to listen to me, well when they go in public, what they going to do, they going to do all that stuff, and it's going to mirror somebody who actually got ADHD, who just actually just being fidgety, because you know they they have a lot of energy and not excluding the fact that most kids have a lot of energy and another thing is what y'all feeding these kids see to be hyperactive you can slow that down by what you're cooking and a lot of you parents out there know good and hell well you not feeding your kids no good food if your kids eating chips that's going to add to them being hyper. Kids eating cookies, that's going to add to them being hyper. Your kids eating fast food, that's going to add to them being hyper. Your kids eating, uh, uh, damn it, what is that? A lot of these, these, uh, sodas, it's going to add to them being hyper. Everything that adds to them being hyper, you give to them, and then when they, ah, like a regular kid who on sugar, then something wrong with them. No, motherfucker, you did this. But, I digress, but it's a hustle because if you if you instill the discipline to let them know what is and what ain't, even if they got ADHD, they'll be able to self-manage themselves. But when you teach somebody to be wild and, and free and rambunctious and reckless, that's what they think is normal. That's why they say that the, the most important ages are usually from from birth to five. And a lot of times, we I hate to say this, we give the wrong parent the reins on the kid between one to five because we think that they're nurturers. It ain't nurturing if, you're, if, if all these kids going to school fucked up. What did you nurture and do? Anyway, I'm out of here.